On this episode of Grassroots Garage, we have a very special car indeed for all the Nissan fans. It's the Nissan Pulsar GTIR. The fourth generation Pulsar rolled off the production line in 1990 and also participated in the Group A WRC in 91 and 92. Nissan selected the Pulsar due to having a high performance SR20 turbo engine and also four wheel drive. The system was called Advanced Total Traction Engineering System for All Terrain. Being a compact little setup, they squeezed all of this into a Pulsar body with upwards of 300 horsepower. However, at the end of the 92 season, they pulled the plug on it after only racing in nine WRC rallies, even though it had always finished in the top 10. We are absolutely pumped to have one on the show and sporting the NME war paint. We've done, we've seen some cars, but this is the only GTIR we've seen. This is a bit exciting. I do love me a GTIR. Gawley, we're sitting here hanging out and Gawley's like, that sounds, because you hear the trucks, he's winding up, and he's like, that sounds like an, yep, that's an SR20 we we're on. <laughs> oh, all right, welcome to Grassroots Garage. Look at this little beast, Adam's car. Adam, thanks for your time, man. How are you, buddy? I'm really well, mate. Tell us about your car. Well, it started off about two years ago. I bought it as just a, basically a wreck, and I started from there. Um, rebuilt the car from scratch, and put a whole lot of front-runner motorsport parts through it. Rebuilt the engine. LSD gearbox, LSD center, LSD rear, upgraded everything that I could. And it's only got a small turbo on it, but that's all I aim for for street purposes. It's just a bit of a run around and weekend car. Tell me about the styling of the vehicle. What sort of inspired that? I just wanted something completely different. Everyone's got a black GDIR, like I like a white GDIR. I've had a red GDIR. But I just wanted something different that nobody that I'd seen in Australia had. Mm -hmm. And I was speaking with Jay Ether from Front Runner Motorsports and I said, what do you reckon? I'll just do the NME look. Mm -hmm. And he said, mate, just do it. That'd look cool. Mm -hmm. No one else in Australia that he knows has got it. No one else that I know has. So yeah, I just, I thought, yeah, we'll go with that. I love that. Now these ones here, they've got a bit of a, a, a bit of a, like a, the better better SR20 is that correct they've got the 54c GDIR motor which mm -hmm. is they've got bigger rods in the bottom end they've got a different head they've got quad throttle body intakes they've got a bigger oil pump they've got they've got a lot going for them but now you've got the VE engines with a lot of upgraded parts through them as well that some people say say that they're a better engine they're definitely a better head mm -hmm. but bottom ends still left to be seen nice. uh, unlimited budget Unlimited. All the money in the world. What are we doing to this? I'm not doing anything. Nothing? Yet. Leaving it? Another one to build. Isn't that isn't that the dream, right? <laughs> Guys are like, mate, no, it's, it's, this is how I wanted it. You know, like that's the jemmy. Maybe swap the engine, but I'm like, no, I just like it. I'm I just, just like happy it. with that. It's for what you want on the street. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect street car. Mm -hmm. It's not a big turbo. There's no big spool. There's no lag. There's no nothing in mm -hmm. it. It's great on the highway. Put your foot down in fifth and it just pulls away. I love that. So I, I didn't want anything more, and especially when I got my kids and my wife in this a fair bit, mm -hmm. I, I don't need a big, big horsepower car with this one. Definitely. The next one will be 500 plus Evo driveline conversion. Now, based on on this one especially, just do that for us. This tattoo here. Based on that tattoo there, I reckon there's a bit of car history here. Let's go right back to the start of it. Tell us about your first car. Oh, I've got a few Datsuns. Yeah? Um, I've had a few Datsuns. I worked on a fair few Datsuns. <laughs> so I've got a 1600 Ute. I've got a 1600 sedan. I've got a 1600 wagon. And I've got a 1200 with the LS1 in it. Now you're right, Pete. Let's take a small break, mid interview, so you can fix your collar. That camera while I fix my collar. Thanks for letting me know my collar was all trashed up, right? He doesn't get it. <laughs> grassroots garage mate we just send it we sort of skipped one in the middle there from your first car to here just give us a couple of your, the highlight cars that you've owned over the years what are some of your favorites my oh, 1600 ute. 1600 yeah. yeah the ute yeah yep yeah. so that's it for adam's beautiful gtir adam you're a legend thanks for your time Thank you.
Well, that wraps up this episode of GRG and a massive thanks to Adam for catching up with us and sharing his car. And we're also working on him to have his youth in our series for Datsun Heaven Australia. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.